Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! should be. Welcome to The Young and the Restless, and Doug Davidson will take no more outbursts like that from this group on this show today. Are you ready for fun? Yeah! We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you tuning in. We will not let you down. This is a most special feud. Very unique. Three of my favorite shows represented on this stage. We have the most popular soap opera of daytime television for the past three years on this show against one of the greatest game shows in the history of television, the number one game show in daytime right now, headed by Bob Barker. The Price is Right. How are you, sir? I are fine, and we're very happy to be here with you. Well, you know, you're not as happy as we are to have you. It's, it's most exciting to have people that are so identifiable, but... You're going to get to see them play the feud for the chance at $5,000 at their favorite charities. And quickly, we all know them, but tell everybody who might have just tuned in who you brought, Bob. Well, on Price is Right, it would be the uh, lovely Diane, the lovely Janice, and so on. But today, as you can see, they have their game faces on. They do. This, this is Killer Pennington ah, here. That's it. This, look tough, look tough. This is Rowdy Roddy Rowdy here. Roddy. This is Terminator Parkinson this down sounds here. like wrestling. And this is Sacco Hallstrom on the air. <laughs> this is Bangham Bob Barker. And the charity that you selected to play for is? It is uh, an underfunded organization that does more for animals with every dollar spent than any organization I know. It is United Activists for Animal Rights. All right. You'll help fund it today if you win the game. But they have their own great charity. We're going to meet the young and the restless right now. Doug, we love you. Howdy, Ray. It's good to have you back Howdy, on the show. Ray. I'm doing very fine. Good to be here. I know you as Doug Davidson, but millions of Americans know you as Paul Williams. Private Eye. Private Eye. <laughs> and handsome Never gentleman. Never solved a crime in his life. <laughs> Sad but true. See, there's a real family feud starting. Second generation. All right, we see we're, we're busting up here. Tell everybody who you brought to help you defeat the prices right here today. I have a very peaceful Jeannie Cooper. Yes. A very pacifist Peter Barton. Who plays Dr. Scott Granger. A very quiet Melody Thomas Scott. Yes. And a very happy Trisha Cast. Welcome to the show. Now, you heard what Bob said. You've come with a, with a killer team as well. Well, no, we've come with a very peaceful team because the peacemakers will inherit the earth. Well, for 5000 <laughs> that sounds very good, but $5,000 for stake, at stake for what charity? We're going to play for the L.A. Times Camp Fund. It takes inner-city kids and takes them into the wilderness. Well, all right, thank you. All right, so they, they, they need the money. Two great charities, only one $5,000. I say it's time to play for you. The first team to $300 will win this game and get a chance to play fast money for the $5,000. Good luck to both teams. The top six answers are on that board. We ask 100 people this question. Try to find the most popular answer. 
Name something parents save from their first baby to use for the... Go ahead, Bob. Their little ring. Okay, their little bitty ring, he said. Pinky ring. All right, now listen to the entire question. It might change the meaning. You both were quick. Doug flinched him right into the slap. Something parents save from their first baby to use for their second. Crib. He said the crib. Did it make the survey? It's number one. Think of a steal. Put the thinking caps on. Something parents save from their baby to use for their second. From their first baby to use for their second. Um, a, um, high chair. Let me see if it made our survey a high chair. Number five. Think of a steel rock. Peter, welcome to the show. Nice Thank to see you, my friend. I was the baby of the family. You know, I wish you were in my family, because I was second oldest. I would have beat the tar out of you every day. Just for having that much hair. Something parents... I'm going to go in there and pull it down. Something parents save from their first baby to use for their second. Clothes. How about... Yes. yes. Clothes. How about clothing? Bam! Number two. The young and the restless have come to play. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Melody, what do you say? I say, top out a playpen. Yes. Did it make the survey? Playpen. Yeah. Bottom. No strikes. Hang in there, Holly. Trisha. Do you realize that if you give me one of those two answers, you're on your way to a clean sweep with no strikes? Um, yeah, I realize that. Well, what are you saying? Um, you're not nervous, are you? No, not at all. We're still shaking, all. you know. Uh, Stop. Okay. okay. Um, I would guess um, um, bottles and things like that. Now, do you have kids? No. Okay. Melody has them. I have them. We'll see if it made the survey. You save from the first baby bottles for the second baby. Uh, first strike, not a bad answer. Hope for the price is right, Doug. You have kids? Yes. I have one. Uh, how about a stroller? Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Is there a stroller? Uh, now, think of the steal. Here's the question. Very simple. A hundred people, Jeannie. Something parents save from their first baby to use for their second. Um, uh, their, uh, 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 doll. Three, three, oh, all right. Yeah. There. Nice. You are, you, you're still rolling. If we see a doll. That is still your bank. Ninety-two dollars will go. Look at Holly. You go right to the prices. Right, help Bob. All right, give me one answer to help Bob. Name something parents save from their first baby to use for their second. Holly, the car seat. She was saving this. The car seat, Diane. A little potty chair. A little potty chair, Rod. I was gonna say potty chair. You can still say it, Janice. A cradle. A cradle. Small cradle. A cradle potty chair, and we hear car seat. Now, Bob, you may go on your own. Ninety-two dollars coming this way. Well. Crib. You have crib up there. Yeah. And cradle is the same as the crib. That's right. So I'm going to go with car seat. Car, car seat makes a lot of sense. $92 richer if we see car seat. Oh! What you think of what? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out what was number three. Parents say from their first for their second child. Blanket. Did you say that? Yes. You, you, you got to make Bob say it. It's only... She said it. Don't defend him, Robert. Possibly. They didn't help you. And number four. <laughs> shoes. Little baby shoes. We're coming back right now. The young and the rest is in the lead. Price is right. is not going to stand. But see you in a moment. The complete line of silence. We are feuding. The Young and the Restless, $92. The price is right. Zero. They're going to make the price right. Here comes Janice against the Lovers. If you just tuned in, we've got our daytime battle, soap opera against game show, battle to the death. The top six answers are on the board. We ask 100 people, name something specific that's mentioned in a lot of country western songs. Jeannie? Love. Let me see. Yeah. Love. Number one, think of a steal. You might get the chance. Think of that steal. Okay, okay, okay. I know. Ooh, don't get him mad, Jeannie. Oh. Peter, the question, something specific that's mentioned in a lot of country western songs. Heartache, Ray. Heartache. We'll see what's up there, pal. Heartache. Heartache, Heartache Ray. Heartache. 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 There it is. Good answer, Peter. True, true song I heard, Gene. My wife left me with my best friend, and I miss him. 
All right. Uh, something I was gonna you're going to say. say I was going to say they're always missing you in those songs. Oh, I hope that it's not there. Let me see. Missing you. <laughs> not there. All right. I'm sorry. I don't want to ever give an answer away. Trisha? Drinking. How about drinking? Yeah. There it is. Three answers are left. Oh, Ray, this is all happening too fast. <laughs> I'm sure you can slow it down. I suppose little doggies wouldn't be up there by any chance, would it? <laughs> little doggies? Little doggies? No. I'm going with little doggies, though, because that's really the only thing I can think of. In There's a lot of things mentioned in country western. Could it be little doggies? There is hope for the price is right. Think of the steel. Something that's mentioned in a lot of country western. Sweetheart. Let, sweethearts. Sweetheart. Let me see my sweetheart. That's three strikes. This bank belongs to The Price is Right, if you know something that's mentioned in a lot of country western songs. Well, my, um, our, our wonderful hairdresser, Jody here, she told me about a song says called You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly. Okay. And in that song, they talk about you know, home. Uh, 30 minutes on this. Let's go. <laughs> they talk about home. Okay, that's your aunt. Home? Home. Okay. Hey, Diane? Cheating. 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 Rod? Cheating. Cheating. I was going to say cheating. Rod, you're copying her. <laughs> okay. Crying. Crying, cheating, Crying. home. Crying. Now, Bob. I, yeah, yeah. I, I am going cheating. to say cheating. 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 I'll tell you what, you got 62 bucks if we see Country Western cheating. 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 Yours. That's amazing. I'm sorry, Young and the Restless. Two other answers. Something that's mentioned in a lot of country western songs. Unbelievable titles. Another one. I got a pimple on my colon, so I won't be going bowling Friday evening. Let's see. Let's see. Number. I made it up. Number five. Train. And number six. Mother. Family and mother. We're coming back. We ask 100 people this question. Name two performers who made movies together as a team. What do you say, Peter? Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Bogey and Bacall. Uh, Not there. Now listen to me, Rod. Top six oh, answers there. On, two performers who made movies together as a team. Uh, Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen. All right. Think. right. Let's see if it's up there. Hoffman and McQueen. Uh, All right, now, Jeannie, two performers who made movies together as... Melody, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Robert Redford and Paul Newman. Redford oh, and Newman? All right, don't move, don't move. Now, I do believe... Stay right here. I'm going to go to Diane. Is that correct? Yes. Of... Two performers who made movies together as a team. Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. It's at the bottom. You think of a steal. They got control. There's a lot of great teams. Two performers who made movies together as a team. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Astaire and Rogers. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers. Not there. Not there. Not there. Think of it. What do you say, Doug? Martin and Lewis. Martin? Martin and Lewis. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Number one. The bank's at $100, Dean. Two performers who made movies together as a team. Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Abbott and Costello. Abbott! One strike only. Peter? Uh, Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. Okay, that's, that comes strike two, Come Peter. Come on, they uh, made three movies together. The famous words of Allen and Farrow. <laughs> sorry, Peter. I'm sorry. Melody, Price is Right is looking to steal that large bank, if you don't know. Gable and Lombard. Is it up there? Gable and Lombard. <laughs> three strikes. Now, listen to me carefully. You've got a big lead if you could just... Holly, listen to this. Two performers who made... Rod... Get ready to say the same thing she said. Two performers who made <laughs> movies together as a team. Um, William Powell and Myrna Lloyd. Powell and Lloyd. Bob Hope and Bean Crosby. Yes. Hope and Crosby. Yes. William, William Bendix and Katherine Hepburn. Should have stuck oh. with her. Okay. Uh, Tra William Bendix. Tracy and yes. Hepburn. Okay. Yes. You heard all those answers, Bob. You can I go on your own. Tell them what you really Bob wanted to Hope. say. Well, Bob Hope and Bing Crosby got more reaction in the audience. I'll go with Hope and Crosby. He goes with the crowd and says, Hope. And Crosby for the steal. And it does. <laughs> From the Young and the Restless, one answer would have kept you going. Famous performers who were at team number five. 
Hepburn and Tracy said right here, it's time for another face-off. Come on, let's go, Diane. Diane against Melody. The dollar value's tripled. Whoever takes this question all the way out should win the game. The top four answers are on the board, and we ask 100 people to name an event that celebrities use to get their pictures into the papers. Diane? Uh, the Oscars. The, the Oscars. Oscars. Number one. We've got a steal. Young and arrested. Here. The question is, is this, here's the question, and you can win the game. An event that celebrities use to get their pictures into the papers. Uh, charity events. Charity <laughs> events. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. Bob? The Emmy. Let me see the Emmy Awards. Not, not there. Okay. Okay. Premieres, movie premieres. How about yeah. a movie premiere? <laughs> Bam! Oh, Ron, if you give me number three, you're going to play for five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Celebrities used to get their pictures into the papers. How about a wedding? Let me see for the game a wedding. Yes! A farmer, a tailor, an artist, an exotic dancer. Who wants to be governor of California? The debating game premiering October 1st at 9 p.m. on Game Show Network. Here we go, Rod Roddy, for $5,000. Okay. As we put 15 seconds on the clock for the United Activists for Animal Rights, we wish you much luck. Thank you. You look straight ahead. We ask 100 people these five questions. Tell me your favorite thing to eat or drink when you wake up hungry. Uh, a, a diet coke. How many pairs of shoes you own? Uh, 20. The age when people have their first romance. Uh, 16. Something that an usher does at a theater. Shows people down. In a drought, name a way to save your life. I uh, take a shorter shower. Turn around here. You gave five answers. Your favorite thing to eat or drink when you wake up hungry, you said? Diet coke, the survey said. You're up there on the board with four. <laughs> I think you're going to pick up something here. The pairs of shoes that you own, you said people said they own? 20 pairs, Amel Marcos. The survey said 10. The age when people have their first romance, you went with? 16. Sweet 16, the survey said? How sweet it is, 56. Something that an usher does at a theater, you said. Shows them down. What did our survey say? Bam, 55. In a drought. A way to save water, Rod Roddy said. Shorter showers. Our survey said zero. Why? Very fine, though. That's okay. a very fine. We covered the answers. Send you back with your team. Here comes Holly to thunderous ovation. Holly, you're on 75 points from the $5,000. You look straight ahead as 20 seconds goes to the clock, revealing the wonderful answers given by Rod. Good luck. We ask 100 people to tell me your favorite thing to eat or drink when you wake up hungry. Um, crackers. How many pairs of shoes you own? Uh, ten. The age when people have their first romance? Um, sixteen. Try again. Um, eighteen. Something that an usher does at a theater? Uh, uh, ushers. In a drought, name a way to save water. Um, turn off the sprinklers. Turn off sprinklers? Is that good enough, Judge? All right, turn around here, Holly. I don't know if usher was, uh, specific enough. Favorite thing to eat or drink when you wake up hungry, you said? Crackers, our survey said two. Two other people eat crackers for and, me. Yes. Milk was number one. How many pairs of shoes you own? You said ten pairs. What did the survey say? Twenty-five. All right. Ten pairs, the number one answer, surprisingly. Forty-eight points away from 5,000. The age when people have their first romance, you said. The age of 18, what did our survey say? Only three. What a difference two years makes. 16 was the number one answer. Something that an usher does at a theater. Will you bring it home with? Ushers. <laughs> the survey said... Zero. Oh, boy, oh boy. Seats people, number one. You need a very big finish in a drought. Name a way to save water, you said. Off with the sprinklers. Did 45 people say it for $5,000? What? 
did the survey say? Yeah! Teflon brought you the non-stick frying pan. Now, Clorox and Teflon bring you the non-stick bathroom. Introducing at new Clorox bathroom and toilet bowl cleaners with Teflon surface protector. They get your bathroom clean, and the non-stick action keeps it clean longer. See, new stains don't stick. New Clorox bathroom and toilet bowl cleaners with Teflon surface protector for a non-stick bathroom. Stay tuned for the eternally young Dick Clark on the $100,000 Pyramid next. Then don't miss the zany celebrity antics on Match Game, followed by Win, Lose, or Draw.